the first video of the year happy new year everyone I wish you a year full of dreams plans goals travels health and most of all peace that's what I wish for everyone especially in this time this video is a little bit different from the other ones I'm gonna let you see all the dolls that I made in 2022 so let's go with me to the journey and we're gonna start with my pinup coca-cola girl this time of the year christmas and new year we see in the television the big truck of santa claus and i thought why not a pinup girl and then when the lightful comment my doll oh my god she didn't make my day she made my year i was so happy thank you delightful after that i come in with a winter geisha so it was so cute which is the first geisha that i've made i even give her a little sushi and a little teapot and i really 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 loved her and valentine is coming and i started with a dark valentine collaboration and for that I use as an inspiration my favorite movie from Dracula from Bram Stoker and the second Valentine doll is Valentine she belongs to a collaboration also a Valentine collaboration and I think she's beautiful look at the hair it's so pretty and the detail in the tail you see it Oh, and the rose in the hand is so pretty. I love her. And with her, we close the Valentine season. But we didn't close the romantic season because our Greta is gonna marry. I made the wedding of Greta. She was a really, really fun doll to make. Really delicate with a white dress. And. In this time of the year, it begins the Easter time. Easter time, I'm thinking about pastel colors, chocolate egg to celebrate the spring. So I decided to make a cyberpunk doll. And I give it the style of steampunk. To commemorate the spring, I bring you Fluttershy. She belongs to a city that I'm busy with. I just have to make Applejack to finish it. She's one of the characters of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, and I, she's one of my favorites, I'm sorry, the colors, the yellow, I love yellow, <laughs> it's my favorite color since I was little, and all the details, I even bought um, a ribbon with little uh, butterflies, she's still with me the cat queen she's very different from the other ones because I printed her face in a 3d printer I give her a cat face all the details in the dress and in the skirt that I made by hand I think she's just amazing and the precious stone collab I make topaz uh, because it was May and is the month of the mermaid so i give it a, a sea vibe with a mermaid dress and i use the orange colors of imperial topaz and she become really beautiful i'm really proud of her after that i come with a monster hunter world collaboration where i made my shino shiva monster hunter Man, yeah, that was a commission. It was a really, really, really fun doll to make. A lot of details. I love the light blue hair. Thank you for the commission. And in the summer, come Rainbow Dash, another character of My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. 
I think her colors are amazing. The hair, the rainbow colors of the hair. And I give her a little radio. <laughs> it's so cute. And a shorts. And look at the shoes. I love the shoes. I'm trying. Do you get to see the shoes? Yes. It is my rainbow dash. And Elsa. Who doesn't love Elsa from Frozen? The chains in her hand, they represent what she was feeling in the first video that she have to hide the power that you have to make ice. Look at her face. So cute. I think she's really, really, really pretty. And the hair. I put little diamonds in the hair. You see it? And another collaboration. Pastel Creature. In this collaboration I made my first ball joint doll. I print it in my 3D printer. I give it the character of a tooth fairy and I'm really proud of her especially because I made it with a broken heart. And Ellie, the summer mermaid geisha. It was the first time that I used the latex mode. I really like it. You see it? It's really stable. The little details in the hair and a little cute face. I think she's incredible. I'm sorry. She belongs to the same collection of the Winter Geisha that I made it. Galadriel from Lord of the Rings, the new series. Oh my god, that was an amazing doll to make. I embroider the whole dress with gold leaves and gold beads. It was a dream to make this doll. And with Halloween we begin with the Demon XL collaboration where I made Annabelle. Well, I have to be really honest, I was really uh, disappointed with myself with this collaboration. I interpreted it all wrong and I finished with a different demon and when I look all of the other dolls they were so beautiful and I felt that disappointed myself if I have another chance will definitely would make another kind of doll it's not that I don't like her but I could make it better I'm sorry and the favorite time of the year this is my second Halloween doll the haunted Greta I made it in a Rococo style. I also I already made two Gretas. I I cannot say the first one was my favorite, but it is the second favorite of mine. I love the hair detail with the hands that I use also in the back side of her skirt. And the third Halloween collaboration was the Tim Burton collab. I have to be honest, I started making Alice in Wonderland and then Ellie Craft, he asked me, oh Claudia can I please make uh, Alice? And I say, yeah of course, I just put a naked doll on a, a latex suit and I make Catwoman. But she ended up really nice, I really like it and it was a different project for me. Saw girls. I made five of them a green one, a red one, a blue one, a silver one, and a gold one. All of them with a, a saw details of the video of the film the shoes with the socks and the green one. She also have a saw to cut it. I don't know why I love dolls so much and why I speak with my dolls, so I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments if you also speak with them. For me, it's like I give them another life. I give them another character. So I cannot say that they are a person for me, 
but I have a tendency of speaking with them. So if one day you see me speaking with a doll, please don't think it's yeah I'm yeah I know it's strange, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Kitsune. A Japanese folklore fox. It was another commission for me. It was also the first time I made a fox, and I really love that project. And Tommy for the horror manga. Yes, that was a very, very different doll. She was also a commission. The client was really happy with her. I, I am really happy with her. I never did anything like this. In one side she's really simple but the other side she have a, a really strong and difficult character but I think I achieve the meaning of it and we close the year with my anti Christmas collaboration with Ellie once again and I made a Grinch nothing more anti Christmas than Grinch I love the detail of the hair all the little uh, teddy bears, snow mans, and look at her face. She's amazing. I think she's amazing. Oh, she lost her bag. <laughs> her bag. I found it. what happened this year because everyone made a Grinch. I thought it was an amazing idea, really original, but no, a lot of dogs to miser made a Grinch. Well, maybe it means that I have a good taste? I don't know. I know when I saw the video starting, I started crying. I was like, oh my god, everyone made a Grinch and I hope that anyone thinks that I copy the idea and <laughs> but frankly uh, my Grinch is different from the other ones so um, I didn't copy anyone I, I swear I just thought that for the anti Christmas collab uh, the Grinch would be perfect so and you know what means with this doll I told you in this video that uh, I'm gonna make a giveaway, a Christmas present. And you, Monster High Generation 3 Cleo the Night. Yes, I'm gonna send it to you for free. You don't have to pay anything. But, and the conditions was you have to subscribe my channel and you have to write subscribe and Merry Christmas and as I promised you in the end of the, this video I'm gonna choose the person that win the doll so let's start it I'm gonna pick up my telephone I'm gonna open the video of, of her and you see the comments here I don't know if you see the comments. Okay, I'm gonna uh, do this the, the comments, and I'm not seeing which person it is. I made a screenshot, and is Diana Tyson. Congratulations, Diana. She writes, "We subscribed. My daughter Elsie and I love the collab you did. We hope to win." Alice Love Monster High. Merry Christmas, belated, and Happy New Year. You can contact with me via my social link. It's in the description box with my link three. Uh, you have, uh, for example, my Instagram. You can send me a private message by Instagram, but I will definitely contact you. And Merry Christmas, congratulations, and thank you for all the love. That was my dolls of 2022. It was a lot of them, I know. Don't say I was lazy. I even made a doll with a broken arm. And 
I'm ready for 2023 with more goals, with more projects. I'm working in a new collaboration with Ellie Dollhouse. If you don't want to miss that video, the only thing you have to do is click the button, subscribe, it's for free and it helps my channel and her channel really, really, really much. Leave a like if you like the video, leave your comment, you know I read all of your comments. I want to say thank to all the persons that support me in 2022, buying my dolls, commenting my videos, uh, subscribing my channel and in my Instagram, all the support that I have, it's amazing. I want to say something also, the doll community, it's an amazing community, I never saw anything like this everyone helps everyone and thank you thank you thank you to all of my doll friends they are supporting me and i will do everything to support you also in 2023 i have a lot of plans for it new dolls i'm thinking maybe a website where i can let you see the kind of materials that i use and how i use it and maybe you can pop up some questions on some doubts and if I can help you I will help you I'm not the most uh, expertise uh, you have a more um, expertise dog customizers than me but I have a lot to teach you uh, I'm sure and we're gonna have fun there for that subscribe because I think YouTube doesn't like me or maybe I'm doing something wrong but we have the whole year to see it and I see you guys in my next video. Bye!